how do I get better at aiming? You know, what mechanics should I focus on? I'd say the number one mechanic, I'll go through like three, but the number one mechanic is uh, crosshair placement. Nice. Nice. CT dead? Nice. One dead. Who's it? Dead. Let's fucking go, boys! Keeping your crosshair head level every time you peek something and predicting where enemies are gonna be playing it. So this comes with something called virtual object permanence. So knowing where things are without seeing them. So for example, if I want to swing coffin right now, the head glitch, I have to know where that is before I swing it. So I'm basically visualizing it through this wall and I'll swing and my crosshair is head level. So you want to do this when you're scaling and getting map control. You'll still see people kind of keeping their crosshair really low down or even people have heard the phrase keep your crosshair head level and they'll aim too high. You want to basically learn where head level is and kind of just learn to pre-aim everything. You know, this comes with playing like warm-up maps, pre-fire maps, uh, retake servers. And you'll kind of just learn where people naturally play and that'll give you your pathing for where you need your crosshair to be at. Nice, Jake. Oh, nice. 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 So when you swing something, you don't want to just stand still and shoot. You want to make yourself hard to hit for your enemy as you're shooting at them. So see, if I swing this and I strafe wrong, look where my bullets are going. Everywhere. We'll just say I'm fighting someone down here. When you're strafing, you want to shoot after each movement to get your bullets to go where you want them to go. And also, don't be predictable and just do left, right. You know, you could do like, you could space it out, do a really long left. You could combo it, you know, you, you want to be unpredictable. That's how you win fights, is being unpredictable. Then I think third most important would be spray control. So spraying is probably the hardest shooting mechanic in this game, in my opinion. I still don't even have it fully mastered. Knowing when to spray, and knowing your spray control is super important. So like, if I'll swing this guy, I'll spray like 10 rounds. Just like that, mate. If you're a Balk player who's going for apps control, you're probably gonna be spraying a lot more than someone here trying to take banana, for example. You don't wanna fucking come banana and try to like spray someone. You're just gonna get tapped out. You just want to know your spray control and keep it to like 10 round bursts. Obviously, it's situational. If you're getting flooded by a whole team, you just want to spray your whole mag into them. And along with aiming mechanics, you can use, you know, your positioning to help win fights as well. So like, say you're holding arch, you get like two kills from people rushing mid. If you're holding the same ankle, they're just gonna challenge you out. So you could be unpredictable after those last two picks and hold like something like this or like this, or even just simple as moving right here. This is especially important as an opera, except I'd say you want to be more drastic as an opera, you know, one kill here, kind of just hang out, see if they're going for a push, and if nothing comes, literally just rotate all the way to B. Just being unpredictable, applying pressure wherever you can, from as many different angles as you can. So you could even set yourself like a little path, so like if you know they're hitting A, you could hold this box, for apps, kill someone, jump up, kill patio, drop, hold this angle, because they're going to be pre-aiming the top of box since you just killed someone from up there. If you get that, you can back up, hold this. You know, just keep moving around after you get a kill. Don't just hold the same spot. If you're an apps player and you literally do this every round, you're just going to die every single round. You have to be unpredictable. So you can hold here one round, hold this the next. Stand up on this railing and hold this, so that way you can see if they're coming patio. You like change it up every round, and after you get a kill, move. Go mini pit. You could throw some util and then drop to big pit. Just constantly move around. Be unpredictable. Don't sit the same fucking spot every single round CT side. I kind of fall guilty of this, playing the same arch angle every fucking round, but there's, there's not many places you could go arch. Same being said for B site, so many people just hide quad box. Like... This is just the spot for a B player, but if you hold it every round, they're going to start nading you and pre-firing you. So, 
There's literally a million angles to clear on B site. You could hold this, this. You could play on the fountain like this. You could play behind the fountain like this. You could play pillar. You could play this side of pillar. You could play this. You could play emo. Just hide emo. Bottom coffin. Top coffin. You know, like there's there's literally so many different B angles to utilize. Aiming and having a good mentality is definitely a way to see your performance improve overall, especially mentality. Hi. Hi, what's your name? What's your name? What are you eating? But seriously though, I'd say one of the most important takeaways is just having a good mentality when you play. It's it's the most important thing in Counter-Strike, I feel like, and that is something I severely struggle with. If I feel like I'm just getting shit on or I'm just losing, I'll feel like the whole game is over, but that's literally how you guarantee a loss. You always want to be positive. Look at every round as a new rounds. Every game a winnable game. Uh, that's extremely important. That's more important than all, everything I just showed you. So just keep positive mindset. Uh, don't kill chicken.